Dear Nixie, I am both excited and a little worried. I'm sure you remember Mrs. Danforth, her spooky Victorian mansion, and the wonderful treats she always hands out at Halloween. For the last year, Mrs. Danforth has been away helping her cousin, Isabella, recover from surgery. She has now returned to her family home, the Dyer Mansion, just in time for Halloween. I have volunteered to go and help her straighten things up and evict any spiders and other creepy crawlies that might have taken up residence in her absence. I am a bit concerned about Mrs. Danforth as she sounds a little discouraged, but it could just be that she's still recovering a bit herself from taking care of her cousin. Of course, there have always been the rumors that the Dyer Mansion may be haunted, so this will give me a chance to do a little investigating and see if there is any truth to the old rumors or maybe find out that they are just that, old rumors. I should arrive at the Dyer Mansion tomorrow evening, and I can't imagine a more exciting way to spend Halloween. I'll write more as soon as I have time. Love, Jane. Ah, we started next Miss Clue game. I figured we start off with screaming because, well, this is a sad screaming because I'm quite sick. If you can't already tell, ooh, spooky. So if I start, is that the Mona Lisa? Right there. If I start randomly coughing obnoxiously, I apologize. But I'm really excited. Apparently, there's a new chapter. There's two out right now, and there's gonna be a new one on Saturday, and I'm is really that excited. Digging? I'm really hoping this is gonna be made and ready for Halloween so I can upload it like a marathon, and that's what the plan is anyway, so. Happy Halloween! Yay! I'll let you focus on the spooky shit that's happening. It's kinda creepy, it reminds me of um, Curse of Blackmore Manor a lot at the beginning. I got a feeling that's not my guardian angel. Okay. Is that you, Jane? Yes, I just arrived. Come on in and get out of the rain. I'll be waiting for you in the kitchen. Who the hell's that? Where's the voice coming from? Please tell me it's not the kitchen because I know we've had a lot of issues with sound in this game and how it makes no sense. Hello? I'm in the kitchen. Come back and get warm. Ooh. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the new soundtrack that we have going on. I like it a lot more than I like the other one. It sounds vaguely familiar from another game. An teacher game, obviously, but I don't know which one. So... I might be making things up this time because I don't... I. The last time it sounded really like I knew there was something that I could tell, or not at all what I was trying to say, but there it just there was something about it that sounded so familiar. Here it just feels slight. Good evening, Jane. How are Hello. you doing this evening, Mrs. Danforth? Very well, thank you. How was your trip? I feel like this voice actor is a lot better than the ones in the previous game. I could be wrong. It though. was quite pleasant, and I love that we have a storm tonight, as it seems so fitting with Halloween just around the corner. Yes, I've always had a fondness for thunderstorms myself. Actually, I do too, but I don't know why. It's not because I like rain or anything particular. I think I'm just weird. When I came I up am just weird. now, I thought I saw what looked like a grim reaper in the garden. I thought I saw something too. It was probably just someone getting a head start on Halloween. I get a feeling that was not the Grim Reaper because I've never seen the Grim Reaper glow in anything. Although, I've never met the Grim Reaper. I don't know if he glows. Maybe he glows. I noticed oh. that you have quite a number of boxes around the house. Yes, I'm seriously considering boxing up all my personal treasures and having an estate sale. It seems I've collected so many things and it feels like it's time for me to give up our family home and move into an apartment which will make my life simpler. That's a reasonable I can't thing imagine your beautiful home without you in it, especially at the holidays. Yes, it is a big step, but for me to remain here, I should probably have some help with the house and the grounds, both of which are in expense. I'm not certain I can manage. 
I can certainly understand your concerns, but I can't help wishing that things could work out where you would be comfortable in your family home. Yes, that would also be my first choice, but I have to be realistic. Perhaps if my husband were still alive, or we had had children, there might be more choices. Well, we Aww. definitely need to make the most of this Halloween, so that it will be one we can treasure. That's so sad. This is a lady who is a widow and has no kids. I'll be your kid. I see you have been making some lists and have been getting treats ready. What can I do to help? I have a list of things to put in a box marked Extra Special. Or you could make some caramel apples. Or if you would rather, you could start dusting. It seems everything has become quite covered in dust while I was away. <sighs> I feel like the, the caramel apples are going to be the new donuts of this game. So start with that. Go with what I know. I've always loved your caramel apples at Halloween. I would love to have a chance to make those. The apples are on the counter. And I have the caramel in a pot on the stove. Just remember to be careful as the caramel can get very hot. I will do that. So do I have to turn the stove on? It does not appear that I can. Nope. Are you serious? This clock has followed me here. Well, at least it was short. Alright, I'll take a stick, put an apple on it, and get some caramel going. That's one. That's one. How many of these do I have to do? Because I know two. two uh, in the last game, you just went on forever, and eventually she was like, "I think that's Three. good enough." Three. Oh, I feel like it's gonna be the same way, isn't it? I have no clue. Now four apples, halfway there. Oh, sweet! You do give me a way to gauge this. I only have to do eight. Nice. And this is Up significantly different. Well, not necessarily significantly different, but it's definitely different from Six. the donuts because I don't have to flip them and I don't have to mess around with the stove. It's a lot faster. It Seven, seems. just one more. Yay! That actually seems to pass a lot quicker than the donuts, but that's maybe just because I actually Eight. have things to All talk about. Done. Yay! That was quite quick. I, I appreciate the obvious. I don't even know what font that is, but it's definitely not handwritten. Someone had. Again, someone had to like literally type out a label and then like cut each word out just to make it look like that if that was real life. Oh, I wanna I wanna talk to Miss Don't know her name. Oh crap. Hello, Jane. Danforth. Mrs. Danforth. Uh, Mrs. I got Danforth, the caramel apples. I've got the caramel apples ready. Those caramel apples look great. I'll put these away until the trick-or-treaters arrive. Is that supposed to be soon? Like, is it Halloween right now? I don't know. I don't pay attention. <laughs> Fuck Let the dusting doing this list part. And start packing that box for you. That sounds great. Here's the list. I'm so glad you could come. It makes this task much less daunting. Hold on a second. There's... Yeah! That sound. Was that the sound that they used in the last game? Or did they change the sound? I'm getting really hypercritical of this game because I don't actually know what's new and what's not new, even though I literally played the game, like the, the old game, like a week ago, or two weeks ago, now. Um, and I just finished editing footage today, but that sound sounds like something straight out of Nancy Drew instead of what was in the other game. I might be wrong though, I don't know. I'm really sick. What do we need? Plush cow, turkey lamp, books, picture, peanut, squirrel, salt and pepper shakers, okay. And wedding tablecloth. I don't know where I'm gonna find that junk, but I know where it goes in the Comic Sans box. Wait, is there in here? No. Some wishes hats. Check in here, maybe? Ooh, we got some squirrels. Anything else? Ooh, tablecloth. Nice. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's another cabinet. Uh. Alright, that's not what I was expecting when she said plush cow, but. And that doesn't look like a lamp, but. Turkey lamp! Awesome. I got four things out of the way right now, and I only need two more, I think. Do I need books and a picture? 
not like a specific picture, not like, oh, a picture of me and my husband, or what have you, it's just a, a picture, like, I could take this picture if the game would let me, you just said picture, man, I don't know, um, oh, it's over here, I got some books, the Riviera of the Bezvero, memoirs and letters, and the Jungle Book, and here's a uh, dude. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but I guess he's important. So I got all this stuff. Yay! Go put him in the box. In the box, in the box, in the box. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No, don't put the list in there. Let's keep going. Awesome. Hello, Jane. We got the box all the packed. Box all packed. That is great. Would you like to do something else? I don't, but I will. I think I would like to tackle the dusting to get it out of the way. That would be such a help. Could you stop with the desk in the living room? Here is a dusting cloth. Make sure not to overtire yourself. All right. Start with the desk. Start with the desk. I'm going to forget that. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it. Let's start with the desk. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I appreciate the... Like, there's less loading times, I've noticed. Or maybe it's just because I'm not thinking about it This is going to look like new when it's dusted. Well, I don't know if it's going to look new, but it's going to look better. A secret compartment? How the hell that open? Put that down. A key. This is the weirdest damn key I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. I thought that painting was different. Was it? Was it just dusty before? Is that what happened? I don't remember. Do I need- She said to start. Do I have to dust anything else like this? I have to dust this? Can I take the cloth out? Nope. It's a nice... Swan, I think. Uh, I guess that's it. So by start with the, the desk, she means just dust the desk and nothing else. Nice. Hello, Jane. When I was dusting the old desk in the living room, I made a remarkable discovery. My dust rag caught on a small lever which opened a hidden compartment. In the compartment was this unusual key. I never knew the desk had a hidden compartment. However, the key looks vaguely familiar, but I can't place it. I'll definitely think about it and see if anything comes to mind. It would be fascinating to discover what this key opened. Perhaps it's even a key to a hidden treasure. I doubt that, but it is a wonderful hope. I'm so glad you're here to help. We've accomplished quite a lot this evening. Yes, and it has been a lot of fun too. Especially finding the hidden drawer and the mysterious key. Yes, I hope some memory about the key comes back to me. Well, I guess we should be going to bed now. We will have a lot to do tomorrow. Your room is the first door at the top of the stairs. I already put your luggage in the room for you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Jane. I can't quite place what that accent is supposed to be. Maybe it's just because I'm not very knowledgeable about accents, but it sounds like a weird mix of like Southern and British almost. Like poorly executed British, kind of like, <coughs> sorry. Kind of like in the the last game with Noah's fake, or maybe it wasn't fake. Maybe that's his actual accent. Um, Noah's accent it was Australian, but it sounded really bad. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going to bed. Is that the end of the chapter? Because that feels real short. Turn around. What was that? Ooh. Ooh. I didn't think Mrs. Danforth had any pets. That's a light. Oh! It is done. Yay! Awesome! This is cool. I still have a few questions. Um, first of all, I still don't know who Nixie actually is. I guess she was the singer lady from the last game at the end. I still don't know who that is or, like, the importance to her. At least with Nancy Drew, you had, like, a a book to base it off so you know like, who these like you knew who Hannah was because Hannah is in the books you know you knew who all these people were and like eventually they're established anyway but I don't know who Nixie is 
Um, I also apologize for being so sick, but I really wanted to play this game because I'm so pumped and I'm really excited about it. And it feels very message in a haunted mansion slash curse of Blackmore Manor just in the way the opening happened and with like the dining room and you know how in message in you know, a haunted mansion Rose is sitting in the dining room doing work and she's making you do shit for her around the house. It just feels very similar and I'm mostly comparing it just for the fact that the games are heavily associated with each other so I hope you enjoyed the first chapter. I'm going to continue playing the other two as they come along, and I'll see you soon.